math by fives. I freaking love this guy. He's solving um, linear differential equations with two distinct real roots. Starts it off with the theorem. Sure. Um, for the nth order, homogeneous, linear differential equation, with constant coefficients if the characteristic equation has n distinct roots they have to be real r1 r2 through rn then our solutions are exponential where the coefficient on the exponential is that root and they are all linearly independent. Check the Rontgen if you want to. And the general solution is given as a linear combination of those solutions where our C1, C2s through Cn's are arbitrary constants. But I bet you want to see an example of solving one of these linear differential equations, the homogeneous type, um, with distinct roots. And here we go. I have y prime prime plus y prime pl minus 12. Y is nothing. Oh, some initial conditions. Oh, it's initial value problem. Ready, 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 ready. I'm ready. That differential equation has characteristic polynomial. R squared plus R minus 12 is equal to zero. Oh, this is our characteristic equation. What are we doing? We're trying to get eigenvalues. Ready, 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 ready. I'm ready. Factors of 12 that subtract to be 1. Are there any? You gotta get that. You gotta get that. 4 and 3. R and R. Signs are different. Big one's positive. Negative. And it's still all good. Oh. So what makes this polynomial 0? R gonna be, R gonna be, R gonna be. Minus 4 and 3, minus 4 and 3. Both of multiplicity 1. Okay. So non-repeated real roots. Ah, yes. So one solution is going to come in the form C1 e to the, wait for it, minus 4x. And another solution is going to be C2, wait for it, e to the 3x. And a general solution is going to be y is equal to the linear combination of those two independent solutions. Yeah, C1, if you want to check independence, go ahead, check out that video. A little bit of wrong skin. Oh, boy. Yeah, fundamental solution sets. Yeah, look it up. e to the minus 4x, and then plus c2 e to the 3x. Now, this would be our general solution, but they gave us the initial stipulation. Um, so we can find our constants. Let's go and get a specific solution without out those constants. So then see here, this is the x and that's the y. Y, so I'm plugging it in there. I have 0. I'm, I'm, I'm using this first. Yes, 0 is equal to c1 e to the minus 4 times 0 plus c2 e to the 3 times 0. Oh, so my first equation is going to be c1 plus c2 is equal to 0. Okay, now what do we need to do? We need to get a derivative, a derivative of that guy. So if y is equal to c1 e to the minus 4x plus c2 e to the 3x then y prime gonna be oh, oh minus 4 c1 e to the minus 4x plus 3 c2 e to the 3x taking the derivative of each one of those exponentials plugging in my uh, initial condition mm -hmm. so then i'm going to have 7 is equal to a minus 4 c1 plus 3 c2 well there we go now we have a system of two equations and two unknowns so then i'm going to have i'm going to have 7 is equal to a minus 4 c1 plus 3 C2, now what do you do? Two different ways we can go about it. We can use uh, elimination or substitution. How do you want to do it? This appears that it wants to lend itself to elimination. 
Okay, so then this says that um, C1 is equal to minus C2. All right, so let's just plug that sucker right on in there. Yeah, yeah. So I'll call that three, this one one, and that one two, using substitution, sub. Three into um, two. And you thought you were never gonna use that stuff from algebra. All right, far out, seven minus there is equal to a minus four times. What did we decide our C1 was? We decided it was going to be a minus C2. Oh, almost done. Plus three C2. Finish him. Wait for it. Minus and minus make mass. Four and three make seven C2. Oh, and then that's seven. It appears to me that C2 is going to be one. Fun. Now take that, plug it into three, and we find C2. 1 is equal to a minus 1. Very nice. So now that we have our C1s and our C2s, we're about to see a specific solution. Yeah, y is going to equal C1 is minus e to the minus 4x plus e to the 3x. And then... a flower. But if you don't believe me, jack it! Go ahead. Twice differentiate, once differentiate, plug it back up into the original one and see if it works. It will.